that's like having your hair pulled really hard. Her fur was extremely matted, and I could see that it was a senior cat. She had an owner that might have been elderly themselves, and that something happened, either they passed or they moved to a senior accommodation, and the cat was left behind and forgotten. The first step was, of course, to take away the mats so that she could move freely and be happy. I was worried that her blood tests would be bad, usually it's like the kidneys uh, that are failing uh, and that indicates that they don't have much time so at the beginning it was quite scary to know if she was going to be okay and of course she was very interested in the food she was very hungry the next day she got to see our veterinarian and when we saw that she had tumors then you're thinking that she might not have that much time left so then we did a surgery where she was castrated and three of the mammary tumors were taken away so we did that and everything was really good she was very friendly very easy to handle uh, it was like she was grateful that we was helping her She's gained quite a good amount of weight. She's just super cuddly. She wants to be petted a lot. Uh, so she's gonna move into our senior lodge that we have, where we have really old cats that are between 17 and 20. People don't wanna adopt old cats or cats that have medical issues. So that's why we have the senior lodge. Their sofas and scratching posts and just everything that they really need. And they can also go out where they have plants and also stuff that they can climb on. And, and we also have a lot of visitors that hang out with the seniors. So she's just chilling, really, and enjoying that she doesn't have to be hungry. And of course, the mats are gone. She has a really bad haircut, but she's happy.